morning students today we will deal with nutrition in plants we all know that all the living organisms need food and the food provides us energy to do different tasks so let's see the terminology nutrition the process by which living organism takes food and utilizes it to carry out different life processes is called as nutrition that means the combined process in which we take in food and use that food to do different activities this process is called as nutrition there are two modes of nutrition the first one is autotrophic and the second one is heterotrophic so let's see the word meaning auto means self and tropos means nutrition likewise hetero means other and tropos means nutrition So autotrophic nutrition means the mode of nutrition in which organism prepare their own food by the process called photosynthesis. Hence the organisms which prepare their own food we call them as autotrophs. And the examples are all green leaves, all the green plants and algae. So second is heterotrophic nutrition. As we have told, heterotrophic nutrition is a mode of nutrition in which organisms can't prepare their own food and depend on other organisms for their food. So these organisms are called as heterotrophs, and the example is all animals. As we have already told that autotrophic mode of nutrition is the nutrition in which organisms prepare their own food by photosynthesis so let's see what is photosynthesis the word photo means light whereas synthesis means to make or to put together so photosynthesis is a process in which plants prepare their own food by using carbon dioxide water chlorophyll in presence of sunlight so let's see the definition the process in which green plants convert water and carbon dioxide into glucose and oxygen in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll so during photosynthesis what happens water and carbon dioxide are converted into glucose and oxygen now we will see the process of photosynthesis in detail so you must have seen when you are pouring water to the plants the water is absorbed by the roots more specifically the water is absorbed by the root hairs present in the roots so now what happens the water that is absorbed is transported to all parts of the plant by xylem xylem is a tissue which conducts water okay so next comes chlorophyll so chlorophyll is seen in chloroplast that is it is seen in the leaf and the chlorophyll is a green colored pigment that's why the leaves have green color next comes sunlight so this chlorophyll captures the solar energy from the sunlight and the carbon dioxide is absorbed from the atmosphere by stomata these are the tiny pores seen in the leaf So next we have to see the reaction that is taking place during photosynthesis. So we have already told carbon dioxide and water. These are converted to glucose and oxygen in presence of sunlight and chlorophyll. I hope it is clear to everyone. So next you have to write in detail the two modes of nutrition with examples. and the process of photosynthesis thank you stay home stay safe